gas regulator, you need to make sure that uh, you know how to do this changing of cylinder on your next vehicle time. Yeah. So, first step, make sure. Okay, before I go into the first step, right? If this tank, if the cylinder is actually filled with gas, you will see the pressure gauge more than zero. Okay? But if the cylinder is actually empty, right? This gauge meter will be either near to zero or zero. Exactly. Now, understand when do you change the tank? When it's empty, right? Then you have to replace it with a new one. Or when you want to change the carrier gas. There's a two type of carrier gas, right? And you know that different type of carrier gas use a different return time. Okay, so yeah, that is when we actually change the tank. Okay? So first step, first step, I'm going to do the first step already. Yeah. So close the cylinder valve. Okay, close the valve, cylinder valve. Okay, and then after that I want you to channel this to the next channel. Okay, to the next channel. So that there is continuous supply into the system of gas in the system. This is the point. Okay, then after that I will close this valve. Yeah, I will close this supply valve. And then after that I will why? Why do I want to purge? There's some residual. After I close, close, close everything, right? There's still residual gas inside, right? I don't want the pressure to build up inside, so I will release whatever the pressure is. Okay, now, right? After I release already, until no more sound, I will close this valve. Close this valve. Close the valve. After I've done that, I'm ready to dismantle this. Okay, just need to unscrew this nut. After you unscrew, you can use your hand to screw out quite easily, okay? Okay, after you have replaced the... I mean, after you have taken out the nut, right? Please replace the white tape, right? This is a sealing tape. Okay, from the, from the nut. Okay, why is it wet wet like that? It's because just now the student actually do a leak test using a soapy water a liquid. So that's why it's wet wet. By right after you you won't see wet wet stuff. Okay? Okay, you just remove the old seal, sealing tape, okay, which is the white tape, okay, and then replace it with a new one, okay. Okay, all must learn how to do this because next time when you go home, your house got problem, right? After you get married, yeah, you will need to change this yourself. The basin, you know, you know the basin that this. Uh, your husband not around, then you will do it yourself. Okay. Okay. So just okay. Just wrap round it only neatly. Okay. After you've done that, okay. Now you can screw it in. Okay. Align the nut to the hole, right? To the thread of the hole. You should be able to. Screwing quite easily using your hand. If it is not aligned to the thread of the hole, then you have a hard time. Then you realign it again. Can? Until your hand cannot tighten, then you use assist it with your spanner. Okay. Okay. Then you tighten this. Okay. okay, after you tighten already, after you tighten already, what do you need to do? You need to check gas leak, right? But is there any gas supply here? No, you need to turn the valve, supply valve here. Okay. 
came from the cylinder. He has to use turn on the supply valve. You will use this <coughs> as no solution, which is a soapy solution. So you just need to squat a bit only. I'm scared they just want to squat no more already. You want to squat like no money like that. You squat around it, okay? Okay. It's got around the gaps. There's these gaps. You understand there's joint gaps, you know? Uh, so it's got around. If there's leak, right, you will see production of small bubbles. You know? But there's no small bubble. But sometimes, because it's a soapy solution, there's heat space here, right? Then, you know, there will be some bubble when you squat it out. But that bubble is not because of the leakage. It's actually due to when you squat, you actually created the gas. I mean, gas bubble or another bubble. But when you, it's leaking, you will see production of bubble producing it. Like, you understand? Like, bo, 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 bo. Are those crap? Is uh, it? Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> correct. Well done. Okay, after you have done that already, right? Now, when you actually dismantle that time, right? There's actually gush of environment air going <coughs> into the piping, right? So now you open up this valve here, you also gush in the Helium. So there's a mixture of environment air and helium here. Can you actually just flush it into the system? No, no right? So you need to purge. Okay, so how do we purge it? Wow. One. Yeah. Yeah. Do three times of rinse, so called rinsing. Okay, rinsing already. Then you can open this. Open this. You open this, then the gauge will close up. And then you can. Turn to this channel and then the gas continues to supply of gas to the system. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, done already. Okay, now one person.